Hello everyone, this is Registered Dietitian Jason Hunter here with today's Nutrition Quickie. And today we're going to talk about emotional eating. This is a big struggle with many when they're trying to eat healthy but they got a lot of things going on with their lives. Some is just fast paced, a lot of stuff going on, other stress, uh, sometimes physical stress, emotional stress. But there's a lot of different ver parameters that dictate how successful you're going to be when it comes to making good decisions with your food or getting to the gym and working out and so forth. But there's three things you really need to look out for if you want to be able to control that emotional eating. The first one is getting that stress in control. The problem with letting your stress get out of control is it raises your cortisol levels. When your cortisol levels are elevated, your appetite is also elevated. It activates the ghrelin hormone which is gonna force you to eat more. So this is why a lot of people, when they're eating foods, they don't even know why they're eating them, right? They just say, oh, I'm stressed out. I just can't stop eating, or I don't even know why. I don't even want that food. I don't need that cake, or I don't want that candy, but I just, for whatever reason, grabbed it. That's stress controlling that right there. That's your cortisol levels being elevated and your hormone ghrelin getting elevated so that you're just causing you to eat stuff. So. Most important warning sign is controlling that stress. The other thing to look out for is, you know, are you really hungry? So double check your hunger. A lot of times, again, when you're stressed or even bored, my daughter does this quite often to me, uh, be out of boredom, she'll be like, I'm hungry, but she just ate. She's not getting any hunger pains in her stomach. She's, you know, stomach's not growling, things like that. And that same thing happens with adults. A lot of it is boredom and again, that stress related. So if you've just eaten and you're not getting, you know, your stomach growling, things like that, try to drink an eight ounce glass of cold water, wait 20 minutes, reassess. Are you, do you still get that hunger feeling or not? Most likely you're not going to. So that's another one to really walk out, watch out for is are you really hungry or not? The third one is to almost do a self-evaluation, right? Learn from what you've done in the past, whether it's been good or bad, so your successes as well as your mistakes, and know that you'll have a game plan going forward at that point. The biggest part of controlling that emotional eating along with, you know, obviously that stress part is recognizing what you've done, what worked, what didn't work, so that the next time that occurs, you know what to do, you know how to counteract that if you follow these three steps, most people are going to be able to easily control their emotional eating. You're going to see a lot more success when it comes to achieving the body you wanted or the goals that you're trying to reach. You're really going to be able to avoid those cravings and eating those foods when you're done and going, why did I eat that? I don't even like that or I don't even want, really want that. I wasn't even craving that. Follow these three steps, strategies, and warning signs and you'll be able to stop that. Uh, real quickly. At the link in this post, there is one more thing you need to worry about when it comes to our warning sign, the first warning sign, which was stress and what it can actually create. It's something a little more dangerous than just gaining some extra weight. So make sure you click that link in the post and find out what stress can also damage as well as cause in regards to something that is fatal for some. So make sure you check that out. If you like this Nutrition Quickie, please give it a share, and I'll be back soon with another Nutrition Quickie.